So in this series, we're going to create a login and user management system in Laravel version 6. And if you're a subscriber to the channel, you've probably seen my series for Laravel 5.8. Now there are some changes in Laravel 6, but a lot of the concepts remain the same. So if you see my Laravel 5.8 tutorial series, you may find a lot of the things in here familiar. If you've not seen that series, don't worry, I am starting from the beginning with this one. So I'm going to make a few assumptions and I assume that you've got basic Laravel knowledge before starting this. I'm not going to be going over the basics, but I will be explaining each step as we go along. So if you've only got a little bit of Laravel knowledge, you should be able to follow along with this. Before we get started, I've created a fresh Laravel 6 project here and I've set up my database. Now as with all my recordings, I'm just using an SQLite database here. But you can use any of the drivers you want. So if you want to use MySQL or Postgres, that's absolutely fine. So once you have your basic Laravel project set up and ready to go, let's get started. So one of the first things you'll notice in version 6 that was different from earlier versions, if you come under app, under HTTP, controllers, you'll see we already have the auth controllers in place. They're in there by default now, and you can create your entire login registration system views and attach them to these controllers. But Laravel also comes with a UI scaffolding that will scaffold all the user interface for us. So we're going to be using them. So over in your terminal to get this Laravel UI package, it's a simple composer require Laravel forward slash UI. And once we have that package, we can run an artisan command to publish the views. So that's a PHP artisan UI view dash dash auth. And as you can see, we also need to get our front end packages using npm. So let's run that as npm install and npm run dev to carry out the build. So as you can see, that's installed all our front end dependencies and it's run our development build building our assets. Over in the browser, if you just give us a refresh, we can see we now have in our login and register views all there for us. The final thing we need to do is migrate the database so the database has all the user tables. And that is a simple PHP artisan migrate. That's migrated the tables for us. Let's register a user. So I'm just registering myself here. And then that logs us into our application and shows us our dashboard. So this is all default and built into Laravel. So in the next video, let's look at creating an admin users controller so the admin can control the users within the system.